Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is actually my second time filming this video, so I'm very sad. I actually filmed or tried to film it this morning. I did film it right before classes, so it was like 8 in the morning, and I filmed in the morning because I had borrowed a book this month, and I gave the book back to the person I borrowed it to. And so I wanted the physical copy, but now I don't have that, but it's fine. I'll just put a picture right here. Anyway, that's my quick rant. Today's video is just going to be my November book wrap up and my December TBR. Um, I read 10 books in the month of November, so I'm just going to go through them really quickly. This video is probably going to be really short. And then at the end, I'll show you what I plan on reading in December. I'm going to pull up my Goodreads so I can tell you guys what I rated them. The first book I have is To the Lighthouse by Virginia Woolf. I read this, um, at the end of October and finish it in November. This is actually for one of my English classes. I'm currently writing a paper on this that is due next Wednesday. So I am very well acquainted with this book. Um, but yeah, I rated this four out of five stars. It was really good. Um, it's a classic book. And so um, for being a classic, I really enjoyed it. It's an interesting story. And my paper that I'm writing um, on it is kind of about the gender roles in this book and then how it correlates to like today. Um, so yeah, this is my first book. I got my copy from Thrift Books. You guys know I love Thrift Books. I really hope my camera's focused. I don't know why, but my vision is like blurring in and blurring out. So I don't know if that's the camera or if it's actually my eyes. So I'm so sorry. Next book I read, I actually listened to. It is It Happened One Sister, which is um, a very popular book by Tessa Bailey. Um, it was my first Tessa Bailey book and she has a second book coming out that kind of goes with this book. It's about like two sisters finding their romance and stuff. Um, it comes out in March, so I'm really excited, but this book was 5 out of 5. I thought it was so cute. It gave me butterflies. It's kind of like an enemies to lovers slash um, grumpy meets sunshine vibe. I think that's how you describe it. I loved it so much. I read it or listened to it so quickly, and I would definitely recommend this. I want a, uh, I want a physical copy because it's just so good, and I would definitely reread it. Next book I have is by Lisa Jewell. It is Watching You. Um, this is my third book from this author. I love all of her books. They're all thriller, at least from the ones that I've read. I'm pretty sure that's her genre is like psychological thriller, thriller, murder mystery type thing like that. Um, I rated this four out of five stars. I would have rated it five out of five, but I feel like there were some unanswered questions. So yeah, anyways, I really like this book and I would recommend it. The next book I have is another book I listened to. It is The Wedding Date. Um, this is the first book in the series The Wedding Date by Jasmine Guillory. She has six books. I read While We Were Dating last month and I didn't know it was kind of part of this like collection. Um, you don't have to read them all or read them in order or anything like that. It just has like characters that kind of cross over and so I read it for that reason. I thought it was really good. I rated it four out of five and then um, I also read The Proposal and that's the second book in the series. So I've read three out of six of Jasmine Guillory's books in that series and The Proposal was also four out of five. My friend Libby really loves that one and I also, I also really enjoyed it. But yeah, I think While We Were Dating is still my favorite. I think I rated that one five out of five. Okay, next I have Punk 57. This was my first book that I read by Penelope Douglas. I actually have two more of her books on my TBR. And so I just wanted to jump into something. I read this in one read. I thought it was pretty good. I rated three and a half stars purely on the fact that I feel like you can't rate a book like this five stars or four stars because it's basically just like a Wattpad story essentially but I also really enjoyed it like I will probably read this again I thought this story was interesting it hurt my heart a little bit um I thought the dynamics were interesting and sad um but yeah punk 57 I feel like since I know her writing style now I will enjoy the other books that I have on my TBR from her which is birthday girl and then credence credence um but yeah her writing is kind of interesting but it's also like very fun and easy to read and like I said I read this in one sitting so if you're wanting like an easy book I would recommend these the next book I have is believe me this is the shatter me final edition final novella I rated it five out of five this book was so good it had a happily ever after I'm hoping the author just ends it right there um, but also I wouldn't be sad if she did continue the series because it's super good um, but yeah I don't have the physical copy with me because I read it over Thanksgiving break at my house um, but there should be a vlog I think I posted that yesterday actually a vlog of me reading it I'll just put it up here for you um, 
but yeah that's the book i read and then another book i read on thanksgiving break is the house and the cerulean sea this is a book that i had the physical copy this morning but no longer have i rated this book five out of five it was so good guys i would definitely recommend it i think it was my favorite book this month um it just made me feel like a child it had fantasy and it's very cute and I just love it so much. I would recommend it to anybody. I actually gave it back to my friend Claire in Portuguese today and she lent it to our friend Caitlin who is also in Portuguese. So we kind of have like a book triangle um, going on. But anyways, I really, I really enjoyed that. I would recommend it. I thought it was so cute and there was some romance in there and then like finding a family that you wouldn't have expected. I don't know. It's just... It's so cute and it brings me so much joy and I would definitely recommend it. The next book I have is The Aguero Sisters. This was a, another English book I read this month. Um, I'm currently doing a project on this this week. I'll be done with this book on Friday. But yeah, I read this book. It was good. I rated it 4 out of 5. It was very interesting. And again, a English book that I enjoyed. Which normally when I'm reading school things, I just feel like I have to dislike it. But I actually really enjoyed this. It was very disturbing. Sexually disturbing. But I did like it, and if you are interested in reading it, there you go. And then the last book I have of November is my nonfiction book. It is Gay Awareness, um, Discovering the Heart of the Father and the Mind of Christ on Sexuality. One out of five stars. Guys, I don't recommend this book, but I'm going to include it. I finished it. Um, I read literally cover to cover. I did not skip any part i'm a christian and i'm also a like lgbtq ally that's what i would call myself and so reading this book there were some things that like were biblically sound and like i agreed with but some of the things were just his own opinions and they had no like everybody is right to their own opinion but he was basically telling the reader like this is fact and i just didn't necessarily agree with it I've been listening to other podcasts and stuff on this topic because it's a big topic and it's controversial and I had this on my TBR and I just want to say it disappointed. Um, I didn't really like it. Sorry if I'm going off on a tangent but yeah I'm glad I read it just to see his point of view um, but also like will I read this again? Probably not unless I am wanting to suffer anyways moving on yeah so moving on we are going to go into my december tbr if you guys are new i don't do very long tbrs i have three books and one of them was on my november tbr but i actually didn't read it that is gone girl by gillian jillian gillian uh flynn she's a ku alum and if you guys didn't know i go to ku and i was going to read this in november because i had a book club uh, but I actually didn't have the book club, so I had no reason to read it in the month of November. I read different things, but I do want to read this in December. Um, and yeah, I'm going to read it, and I think it's going to be good. This book I have is Coulson Whitehead's The Intuitionist. This is a book from an English class, so the same English class that I read to the Lighthouse in, and then The Aguero Sisters. Um, we either chose to do the Aguero sisters or the intuitionist and I chose the Aguero sisters obviously but I still have this book I got this before um, this class has started so I didn't know we were gonna choose between the two and since I have the book I obviously want to read it and I just think that the sooner I read it um, the better it'll be or else it'll just stay on my TBR for super long so yeah I'm gonna read this in December for sure and the last December TBR book I have is my nonfiction, and I just want to say this is an, another controversial book that I think I may not like just like this book um, because of the author and it is Rachel Hollis's Didn't See That Coming. I got this right when it came out before I knew how controversial she was. I had her two, I have her two other books and I read them and there's some things I agree with, some things I don't. Um, but I liked, I liked the writing so I bought this book and then she just became kind of problematic. Um, so this has kind of just been sitting on my shelf, but I'm still gonna read it um, Kind of just a thing like if it's on my shelf, I'm gonna read it. So this is my December Nonfiction pick. Hopefully it's good. Hopefully there's like some good things. I'm pretty sure this is about her divorce um, And if you guys don't know who Rachel Hollis is, she's just a Christian uh, Spokesperson type of thing, but she had some controversial Controversy happen um, early 2021 so do your research about her if you want to read anything from her um solely only reading this because it's in my library um yeah is going to be the end of this video i am so excited for the last month of 2021 um this year i really 
focused on reading and really dove into reading and I'm so excited to kind of do my end of the year wrap up and what I read in December. Um, that will probably be coming around in a month obviously but yeah I'm super excited. I'm also trying to post as much as possible in December. I don't want to say I'm doing vlogmas but I'm gonna definitely be trying to post um, every day at least throughout the weekday. I'm, I may skip the weekends. I'm not really sure yet but yeah, if you guys are interested in watching anything, um, go ahead and click subscribe. I do vlogs, lifestyle stuff, book stuff. Um, and yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. I will talk to you guys very soon. Peace and love. Bye, guys.